Hey, Bori. Hey. What are you doing? Everyone, everyone thinks that I'm still pruning, but the whole vineyard is pruned. Every last grapevine, except these few here. Now we've left these here because I wanted to get the canes, and you can see why they call them canes, because they're just like the sticks that the school teachers had when I was a boy, and of which I get many sixes, sixes. <laughs> <laughs> so, but anyway, that's why I uh, uh, am pleased to give them a bit of trouble now with my secretaries. But the whole vineyard's pruned, but we kept these canes because we want to strike some new uh, vines. Not a great many, I've just got a little patch I want to fill up. And so you can start by just letting the vines get to uh, the time when sap is starting to flow. And you can see here now, just where I've cut them, they're starting to weep because the sap is, is rushing up. All the energy for next year is rushing up. And if, you, if these were still there, if they weren't going to be pruned today, they would absorb a lot of the energy and the plant would, uh, the vine would uh, struggle a bit. But every one of these uh, little uh, uh, shoots that's left now has got two buds, which will be two bunches. So you can see there's quite a few, two bunches, two bunches, wow. <laughs> and they, uh, uh, it adds up faster than you think. Now we're, we have to try and also not only regulate the amount of bunches on the uh, vine, and we're looking for about a uh, 60 or 70 bunches. And it's hard to imagine that's what happens here. They'll be, they'll be laid with uh, grapes. So we want to, want to regulate them, and we also want to allow the wind to be able to pass through them and the sunlight and a, uh, so if it was like this tangle here it would be very difficult for any of those things to uh, uh, happen. But it's a fairly difficult job because a, uh, if you're pruning normally you've got to, you've got to sort of, you're working flat out pulling these because say the canes cling on, they've got all the little clingers, <laughs> uh, I don't know what they're called, but anyway that hang on to the uh, hang on to the wire. But we're just cutting these so we can take them down and so I can show you another, how we prepare them to uh, yeah, strike the cuttings so we've got vines for next next year. But they, uh, we try and sort of have them roughly a hand space in between. So that's the, uh, and there'll be two bunches. So you say two, four, six, eight, 10, 12 bunches. Uh, 12 bunches on this side and 12 bunches on the other. That's 24 bunches, which is then it's 42 uh, bunches altogether. Of course, they're going to be two each, 42 bunches, and they're going to be 250 grams each. And the reason I got the cane was I thought we good at maths when I was a boy. But it's a, a, a 42 times two, 80 times 200 is Wonder, oh, what is it? It's, it's a fair bit. <laughs> it's, anyway, it, uh, uh, we can then work out exactly how many we want per hectare, how many uh, uh, vines, uh, or not vines, bunches. Might stop there, but I, I, I better do know what this one is. It's 42 times, I should have, should have this, no, it's 42 times. You doing this now? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, it's 42 times times 250, which is uh, roughly, say, 20, 10. 10 kilos of fruit. 10 kilos of fruit, that's right. So that would be on this vine. That'd be 10 kilos of fruit. And it says 1,600 of them per hectare. That is a uh, 1,600 times a... Uh, 1600 times, ah, not to start again. <laughs> I'll get a pencil and paper and figure this out, but it's we need 42 shoots. That's what we try and have a, uh, to get to this, the right crop load. And the spacing is the other thing. They need the right spacing. Mm -hmm. All right. I'll leave you to it then. Okay. <laughs> All right. I'll start to work these maths out. I'll have it right next time. Okay. When we come back this, I'll tell you exactly to the kilo, to the last glass of wine, how many grapes here. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh.